Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm going to give you more updates regarding the issues Tesla has regarding the 4680 cells and the scaling of it. And we will look into updates of a Tesla app update. Um, there's actually pretty nice new stuff inside there. So we will look into that. And if you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing. And we will look into China first as Chris Cheng is talking about Pateo CEO Ying Yilun, who said that current logistic costs have increased by 300% to 400% and originally a car component took a day to deliver, but now it has to be divided into six cars, six drivers divided into four to six days to deliver. So that is the supply chain issue that Tesla might have in the coming days and weeks in China. Then we are looking into the 4680 cell production that is not looking as great as we may be anticipated. Um, we do know that Cattle Road is working on um, producing a lot of 4680 cells and then of course the ramp up and the beginning of the production in Austin is supposed to start. Nevertheless, Tesla has said in the earnings call that the non-structural packs with the 2170 cells will also be sold um, out of Austin. So this is a sign that Tesla, as we all could have assumed already, um, it didn't have or doesn't have right now enough battery packs with the 4680 format. That is actually no big surprise as we have seen up there. 1,463 Model Y standard range could Tesla build with the current output and this is pretty much nothing. I mean it's nothing. Um, they um, need to scale further and that is very important to achieve and that needs to be achieved very very quickly um, but this is what they are working on and of course the challenges will be there not only for Tesla to scale such a um, yeah, such a battery uh, supply chain. This is also going to be a challenge for many companies out there. Um, so anybody who is saying it's going to be easy to uh, build their own batteries, I think we can see the example right now with Tesla and the money that has to be invested to actually build up such a supply chain. So Tesla is doing everything correctly, but I think we have to be more patient. It's not like the battery itself is the issue. It's more like the scaling part. And I think this is going to be very important for the Cybertruck and the Semi. I don't expect any delays for the Cybertruck though, because Tesla has still plenty of time to ramp up the production until next year. Then we're looking into Adrian here. Um, from Germany, we have updates regarding the Tesla app. So now if you have any issues with your Tesla, you have to bring it to Tesla and they take it from you for a few days. You now have the possibility to actually take another Tesla for those days. This is not something new, but Tesla is now offering the possibility to do that all over the app, which is pretty nice. It makes it even more smooth and more nicely to um, experience um, the Tesla experience itself and of course, the time that you're waiting for your car. Um, I think it is a smart move. I think we will expect a lot more updates and stuff happening in, in the Tesla app. I think it's one of the most powerful apps at some point um, where you can do so many stuff with your solar roof or solar panels or a power wall or maybe for companies with the mega packs and etc. etc. So you do see it's going to be very exciting in the future. Then we have in the Giga Berlin building actually something very exciting as well because we see a lot of solar panels and yes, finally, finally, they started to do the same job as they do right now in Austin. Nevertheless, I don't think there will be any Tesla letters because there's no space on the roof like in Austin. Then we have the Tesla um, Model X now officially being kicked off in Canada. So that is exciting as well. Um, what I'm still waiting for, which is not so exciting, is for all those customers in Europe for the Model S and the Model X. We do know that after Canada, it should be happening at some point. Um, I think Tesla can scale the production in this segment very quickly. And I hope that this year the first will come to Germany. Then we are talking about operating margin. We have here Ferrari at this first spot and then, yes, 
Tesla with 19.2%. Well, that's not surprising because Tesla is just building so efficient cars um, in an efficient way. Uh, nevertheless, to be kind of fair, Tesla is not having like really small, low margin cars like some um, car makers like VW. That's like the only fair point I would give, give VW. Um, on the other hand, if we um, compare Tesla numbers to Mercedes and BMW, that's the point where I think, wow, 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 Tesla is doing so much better. I mean, with BMW and with Mercedes, with high class premium cars that they don't have um, an operating margin that is close, not even close to Tesla, is showing what Tesla is doing. And this is something, um, it's going to be about the money because the money is, needs to be taken to invest into new projects and new factories um, expanding in the future. And that is something that is very important as well for the German car makers, for BMW, Mercedes and BMW. If you want to move into the future, you need to be capable of um, earning a lot of money. And if the margins are going down again, um, this is not going to be a good sign. Yeah, then I just want to um, go into the boring company. Um, actually, that was like a point I haven't talked about for a long time. Me personally, I do believe um, the boring company right now is maybe not the um, issue solver that is the, like the mo solving the most important issues in the world. But I think it's going to be having a great impact on our experience, how we travel at some point. So I think solar roofs, solar panels, power walls, mega packs, this energy part, and of course the um, car business are very important to um, achieve the goals that we have right now in the world. Um, nevertheless, when it comes to the boring company, of course, um, I think um, right now the scaling of the project is happening. It's happening slowly, more and more projects, um, but I think it's far away of having a major impact yet. Um, but as you heard, I said yet, I believe um, the boring company is going to be very exciting in the future. And this is going to happen as well here in Austin. And that is what the picture showed um, that they also have a site here. So they're going to um, be building more projects in Texas as well, which is, I think, an exciting move. Um, of, and Elon Musk is having everything here together with SpaceX, Tesla, and of course, the boring company. So thank you very much for being here today on this Sunday. If you're new to my channel, do consider subscribing. I would really appreciate your support. And if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section, or if you have any um, topics I should be working on, then let me know. And um, I wish you a wonderful day. See you tomorrow back at the beginning of the week. So, thank you.